The Central Bank of Nigeria has barred banks and other financial institutions seeking a conversion license from expanding or reducing their current banking network in its new draft guidelines. The CBN discloses this in a circular to banks and other financial institutions titled Regulatory Guidelines for Change of Operational License for Banks and Other Financial Institutions in Nigeria. The draft was signed by the Director, Financial Policy and Regulation Department, Chibuzo Efobi. The circular stated that under the guidelines, eligible banks and OFIs applying for conversion or recategorization shall not, pending when the application is determined, expand or reduce its current banking network. The CBN stated that due to increasing requests for financial institutions to either upgrade or convert to other license regimes, the draft guidelines aim to provide clarity to eligible financial institutions on regulatory requirements. Ghana's move to restructure most of its public debt, estimated at 576 billion CDs, an equivalent of $49 billion, is weighing on banks from the UK to Nigeria. The West African nation exchanged 87.8 billion CDs of notes that paid an average of 19%, with bonds returning as little as 8.35%, resulting in losses for financial institutions. Four of Africa's biggest lenders, Standard Bank Group Limited, First Round Limited, Abso Group Limited, and Net Bank Group Limited, collectively set aside $267 million to account for the losses, impairing as much as 57% of local and onshore dollar denominated debt holdings. Impairment losses at Societe Generale SA's Ghana unit jumped more than eightfold to 284.7 million CDs last year, according to unaudited annual accounts on its website. Meanwhile, Standard Chartered PLC set aside $160 million. Zenit Bank PLC, Nigeria's biggest lender by market value, says it has set aside 123.4 billion naira, representing $267 million in part, to account for its holdings of bonds in Ghana as the nation structures its debt. And finally, in stocks, the Nigerian equity market on Wednesday bounced back from four straight sessions of decline as the All Share Index grew by 0.90% to settle at 53,603.80 points. Investors gained 261 billion naira as the market capitalization was up by 0.90% to close at 29.201 trillion naira. The market breadth closed positive as 22 equities appreciated in price against 14 that declined in the share prices. An aggregate of 236 million units of shares were traded in 3,906 deals valued at 3.26 billion naira. And that's it on business news. I am Chiamaka Wafo.